I look to the future with great optimism. It got to the stage where I had to start using a stick and I used the stick for some time then it just progressed into having to use a wheelchair. My husband Paddy, who is my main carer, would get me out of bed in the morning. I say my Baha'i prayers. Then my carer Teresa would come and she would give me a shower and get me dressed. Well, the mid-morning is generally a time when I might do some exercise. I have an exercise bicycle, which means I can do passive exercise. And so I might do some of that, or it would depend, I might be going out, not so often in the bad weather, but in good summertime I might get out and then I probably go into my computer, check my email, check whether there was any work that I needed to do for the Baha'i Information Office, do whatever had to be done and then I would have probably have my lunch. During the afternoons then I might have to go out for an appointment. Um, I might have a physio appointment, which would happen in the house. I might have, I might go down the town with my husband, Paddy. We have a van which has been adapted. Great, it's actually super. It's made a big, a big improvement to, to my life because we can drive so many places. Paddy would have to give me my meal as well, feed me. And then eventually, whenever we go to bed, he has to help to get me to bed as well. And I have to get hoisted into my bed in the evening. And luckily, I'm a very good sleeper and I, I don't have to take any medication for that, in fact. I don't really take any medication at all. The things that keep me going and that are important to me are my belief in God and my belief in Baha'u'llah as the founder of the Baha'i Faith. The fundamental purpose of the Baha'i Faith is the unity of humanity. Uh, Baha'is all try to work in this way as much as they can. So even though you're disabled, you're trying to be involved. Saying prayers is an important part of my life. And Baha'i prayers are between you and God. My family is very important to me. I have a terrific family and very supportive. And the most important thing to me is that they are healthy and happy. I look to the future with great optimism because I believe that the world is going to come to a better time. And I believe that a new world order is being built up and that this will lead to harmony, peace and prosperity for the world.